Let me also introduce our Assistant Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Lisa Antunes, who I believe will introduce everyone else. Thank you. Good evening. So boy, that's gonna be a tough act to follow, but everybody stood for them, so everybody's gonna stand for you guys too, okay? So, so good evening. We're happy to be here this evening to speak with you about the importance of full day kindergarten. Now we know that some may believe there are no benefits to shifting to a full day program, and that students eventually catch up. I'm not going to reiterate all of the research that all of the teachers did for the strategic planning. However, that is on the website if anybody's interested. And I'd like to guide you to the New Jersey Department of Education website that outlines nonpartisan research, which is typically utilized to develop policy for the state. It truly was a pleasure working with Dr. Milady, Ms. Cooper, and the, and the teachers. We, we had a, did a lot of work, but we had a lot of fun doing it. And we actually laughed and said we should probably set the night up like centers so that everybody could actually experience what kindergarten ought to be like. So without further ado, Ms. Cooper. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Sheila Cooper. I am the proud District K-12 English Language Arts Supervisor. It is my pleasure to introduce you to our speakers this evening. First, we have Shauna Guzzi, who has taught, wait, Shauna, who has taught kindergarten at Hillsborough for 20 years. She currently teaches at Hillsborough Elementary School. Next, we have Kelly Marion, who has also taught kindergarten and currently teaches first grade. Did you wait? Okay, good girl. Um, at Amsterdam Elementary School, and she's been with us for 14 years. Next, I'm happy to introduce Diana Nork. She is a kindergarten teacher at Hillsborough Elementary. Did you wait? Okay. Um, and has been with the district for five years. And finally, we have Allison Scobo. Thank you. Currently um, working as an academic support teacher at Amsterdam Elementary, and she is a former kindergarten teacher and has been with our district for 17 years. Thank you for your expert participation tonight. Good evening. My name is Dr. Mary Ann Milady, and I'm the principal of Amsterdam Elementary School. And I also can proudly say that I was a kindergarten teacher in Hillsborough Township Public Schools. I taught in four of the elementary schools. I think there might be time for me to get to the other two. I'll see if I can fit that in before I retire. Many people wonder, what is all the fuss about kindergarten? Why is it important? Why do we need it anyway? Most educators wonder the exact opposite. In this day and age, how can students function without it? Kindergarten is important because it's the foundation for future learning. Kindergarten means child's garden, a place for children to grow. Our job is to provide a sturdy foundation with plants and seeds in the best environment available, one for the children to grow and thrive. The purpose of kindergarten is to teach children a rich, meaningful, and balanced curriculum of skills that encourages children to want to learn more. More importantly, we need to give children the skills they need to function in school and life. We need to teach them routines, how to communicate, problem solve, and learn the skills necessary to navigate everyday events. One could argue that everything you really need to know, you learned in kindergarten.
It is the numbers that really tell the story. I'm just going to give you a minute to look and wonder. While you are wondering, please keep in mind that in a recent longitudinal study, it was found that kindergarten teachers had much higher expectations of their students in 2010 than teachers had of their students in 1998. There are 17 districts in Somerset County, only three without full-day kindergarten, Hillsborough, Bridgewater, and Montgomery. My underlying question is, what are the students of Hillsborough missing which will afford them the best education possible? They have to be missing something, even if it's time to practice. Our present 379 part-time kindergartners are not given the same opportunity and attention as 81,323 other five-year-olds in the state of New Jersey. I'd like to introduce Shauna. Good evening. I've had the fortune of working as a kindergarten teacher in the Hillsborough District for the last 20 years. As you can imagine, I have seen quite a bit of change in kindergarten over the last 20 years. Before we talk about that, I want you to think back for a moment about your own kindergarten experience. You probably sang your ABCs, learned how to write your name, practiced counting, and learned the Pledge of Allegiance. You likely spent quite a bit of your day playing, playing with your friends and learning how to cooperate, take turns, get along, and even problem solve. There's a chance you also had a rest time or a nap time. This is generally what kindergarten looked like when I was in kindergarten, which was clearly more than 20 years ago. <laughs> it was the norm for kindergarten to be a half-day program then. Fast forward to me teaching kindergarten in 1998. We were more developmental then. Of course, we taught the children how to write their name, sing the ABCs, count in different ways. We taught the colors, coloring in the lines, cutting, gluing, all the basic skills needed to be ready for school and to function well in school. Centers were carefully thought out so that the students would have the opportunity to learn through discovery and exploration. Even more, they had the opportunity to socialize. The students had the opportunity to practice the skills that we were learning in school each day, and this was often demonstrated during center time. There was movement around the room and learning taking place as I listened into conversations and intervened to help with a skill or to help solve a problem. Most days, we even had time to burn some energy by playing on the playground or playing games outside. Now fast forward 20 years. The pace has changed. The curriculum has been developed in every subject area to offer our children a challenging and enriching experience. The expectations the expectations have become rigorous, and yet we still only offer the students a two hour and 47 minute day. My friend and colleague, Diana Norick, will describe what a typical kindergarten classroom looks like now. Good evening. Kindergarten today looks like first grade a decade ago. The classroom walls are covered in anchor charts that the children reference during the day. We have anchor charts that explain the writing process, math strategies, not to mention a word wall that will include 65 sight words by the end of the year. The shelves are filled with leveled books, book bins, Chromebooks, and math manipulatives. Many of us do not have a sand table, water table, puppet center, or dress up area. In fact, the toys that I do have are rarely used because there is just not enough time for free play or even social time for that matter. By the end of kindergarten, our students are expected to read at a 1G reading level. With guided reading groups only twice every six days, these demands are very hard to achieve. Back then, kindergarten teachers selected books for pleasure. Today, we are given a list of books to read for a purpose. Our students may be asked to retell parts of a story in their own words or create pictures in their minds while listening to a story. They answer a series of comprehension questions make connections to their own lives, and talk about their wonderings. I remember when I was in kindergarten, we created a lot of class books. We drew simple pictures, and our teacher wrote our thoughts under our illustrations. Today, not only are the children expected to write stories independently, 
They are expected to write a story with a beginning, middle, and end about their lives. They are taught to stretch out words by writing the sounds they hear, put spaces between their words, add punctuation, and put a capital letter at the start of every sentence. They include the characters, setting, a feeling, and even speech bubbles. How can we expect so much from our little five and six year olds when they only have writing instruction twice a week for about 10 to 15 minutes? Math in a kindergarten classroom today is not just counting and identifying shapes. The children solve number stories by justifying their thinking, compose and decompose numbers in different ways, read and write two digit numbers, understand how to use a 10 frame, just to name a few. Our phonics instruction has shifted from simply identifying uppercase and lowercase letters. Today, our students not only learn their letters and sounds, they're also expected to tap out and blend words, read sight words, recognize words that rhyme, identify the beginning and ending sounds in words, and understand the parts of a sentence. This is a two and a half hour kindergarten schedule as suggested from the Department of Ed. This schedule is very different from our schedule. In this schedule, there is time for project work, sharing, and choice time, which our students have very limited time for. As soon as our little ones arrive in the morning, they move through a very fast-paced schedule with barely any downtime. It is exhausting. There is very limited time in our day for free play, if at all. The question I get asked each and every year by my students the first week of school is, Mrs. Nork, when is it playtime? It breaks my heart when I have to explain why we don't have playtime in kindergarten. In fact, many teachers will incorporate playtime into their behavior management system where playtime is earned. Let me take you through my typical half-day kindergarten day, which is exactly two hours and 47 minutes. The children begin by unpacking and starting their morning work. Morning work in a half-day kindergarten program typically is anything the children didn't have enough time to finish the day before. Next, it is time for morning meeting. During this time, we move through different calendar activities. This takes approximately five to 10 minutes. Now it is time for foundations. This program is designed for a full day program, so we have to pick and choose what we want to focus on. We spend about 15 to 20 minutes on phonics instruction. After foundations, it is time for science or social studies. There is limited time in our day for both subjects. Teaching a half day program means getting creative and incorporating science or social studies into your morning meeting morning messages, math lessons, and literacy lessons where they fit in. Unfortunately, there is very little time for students to participate in science experiments. Instead, teachers will often demonstrate the experiment whole class without the children having any hands-on exploration. For social studies, a simple book and possibly a short video clip is all we have time for, about 10 minutes. Now it is time for guided reading or specials. Depending on the day, the children either go to their 40-minute special or work through learning-based centers while the teacher works with small guided reading groups. During learning centers, the children get the opportunity to play various math games, practice letter formation, and work on skills that reinforce what was taught in class. I find that when I'm planning my learning centers for the week, a lot of math games I select are games that the children didn't have enough time to play during math time. Again, being creative and fitting things in where you can is what our job is all about. By this point, the children are starving. Finally, it is snack time. The children get their snacks, and after taking a few bites, you guessed it, it is already time to clean up. 10 minutes is barely enough time for the children to eat one snack. After snack, we have 15 to 20 minutes for math. Just like science, I find that during math time, there's a lot of teacher-directed instruction. We explain the concept, demonstrate the game, and look at the clock in panic because once again, there is limited time for the children to actually play the game. After math, we have 20 minutes left in our day for making meaning, which is our reading program, or writer's workshop. I usually teach reading twice a week, writing twice a week, and leave Friday, Fridays for anything I didn't get to. During reading, the students listen to stories, answer comprehension questions, make connections, and share their wonderings with a partner. During writing, the teacher teaches a short 10-minute mini lesson, and the children go back to their tables and work independently on their stories. By the time the children get their writing materials, they have about five to 10 minutes for writing. Many of them need that amount of time to even think of a story idea. Let's just say not a lot of productive writing occurs in five to 10 minutes. We made it to the end of the day. The children have five minutes to put their writing materials away, 
put their take home folder in their backpack and get their coats, gloves, hats, scarves, and backpacks on. It is a race against the clock. During this time, I am zipping coats, separating fingers and gloves, tying shoes, counting bodies, and walking my students out to their buses. This concludes my two hour and 47 minute day. Now let's hear from Renee Myers from Triangle School. Full day kindergarten can enhance the learning of our little ones because kindergarten, it's so rushed um, in a half day program. We need the time, we can really have smaller groups and work you know, with them one on one more because of that time. There's no time. It's rush, 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 move, move, move from, you know, subject to subject. And it's not fair to the children and it's not fair to the teachers because we need the gift of time in kindergarten. They need playtime. There's no time for playtime. Um, so that social aspect is gone. But more importantly, the curriculum is for a full day program. So we are trying to squeeze in a curriculum for full day into this half day and it virtually is impossible on some days so you know we're hurting the children by not giving them that time of learning and letting it sink in because it's so rushed this is a full day kindergarten schedule as suggested by the Department of Education our full day program would look a little different um, we would also include the subject areas for social studies and science. If we had a full day in kindergarten, each of the activities I mentioned could actually be done every day. Our day would begin with the students' arrival, the children unpack and get ready for the day. We would then move into a morning meeting, likely including more activities to represent a responsive classroom. For example, the students would participate in greeting each other, sharing news, making positive statements, interacting and cooperating, all to build a positive classroom environment and community. We would continue with social studies. Here we learn our rules, what communities are, good character traits, as well as historic symbols, important holidays, traditions and cultures of all people, just to name a few things. Next, it's time for foundations. We learn to identify letters, sounds, rhyming words, tapping and blending words, writing letters with correct formation, sight words, sentence structure, storytelling and retelling, etc. Then we would move into math. In math, we teach the children number representations, math symbols, adding, subtracting, composing and decomposing numbers, shapes, counting in multiple ways, measurement, height and weight, graphs, surveys, double digit numbers, and so on. Now it would be time to break into our guided reading groups. Learning centers would also take place during this time. Here we teach specific reading skills to our children according to their individual reading level and needs. The other student, students would be engaged in learning centers. These learning centers reflect the skills being taught in each subject area. This gives our students time to practice the skills they have learned. The students would go to a 40 minute special which would include art, physical education, music, world language, and library. After special, the students would be ready for a snack break. Now we would begin writer's workshop. The teacher teaches a mini lesson and sends the students off to work on their stories. They will have the opportunity to practice the skills that we're learning about. We would have the opportunity to confer with more students about their writing and run small skill-based groups to help improve and build upon their individual writing level. It's probably about time for a much needed lunch and recess. Kindergartners would actually get the chance to play on the playground, something that they rarely get a chance to do in a half day program. After recess, we would come back to the classroom and settle down into a show and tell time. What a wonderful opportunity for students to practice public speaking. We are now ready for Making Meaning and Reader's Workshop. We read stories with a purpose. We learn how to retell a story with detail. We learn how to visualize and wonder. We learn to work with partners and to share ideas and thoughts about stories. We learn to talk and listen to each other. 
All of this learning will make us hungry, so we will likely need to fit in another little snack break. Our brains are now ready for science. In science, we learn about measurement, senses, weather, living things, sunlight and energy, and motion and forces. We will have the time to do the experiments. We will learn to wonder about the how and the why, and we will have the time to actually think about the how and the why so that we actually understand the concept. Finally, it's center time. This is the time where the children can choose a center to play in. There are many centers to choose from. Kitchen, construction, puppets, listening, writing, reading, math, sand, water, painting, art, music, games, building, as well as other dramatic play centers. Some may say that this is where the real magic happens. We would have the opportunity to observe all of the learning that is going on as the children practice and demonstrate the skills that they have learned while they play. Dismissal time is next and it's time to send our little ones home. Please keep in mind we do most of these things on our half days, in our half day program. There are a few exceptions. We don't have lunch, we don't have recess, and sadly, we don't have center time. All of the subject areas I mentioned, we do now. We just don't do all of the subjects every day because there is not enough time. A full day will give us the opportunity to slow it down for our little ones. This is the beginning of their formal education. As you know, if you don't build a solid and strong foundation, it only makes it harder to continue to build upon. Our district now has an opportunity to build an even stronger foundation for our children. We won't have to pick and choose what we teach in each subject area. We can solidify school readiness skills. We can spend more time building a positive learning environment. Let's start these little people off on the right foot. Let's give them a chance to start off even stronger than they are now, instead of simply touching on a concept in each subject area. Give us, time, give us the time to allow our children to explore each content area and practice the skills we are teaching. Even more important, give us the time that will allow us to help our children grow socially, emotionally, as well as academically. I can promise you, my colleagues and I will continue to make this program an awesome one. We will not disappoint. A little more time with our children will make a very big difference. Thank you. Don't worry. As Dr. Antunas said, we will not review the research discussed for strategic planning. That research clearly defines the pros and cons of full versus half-day kindergarten programs. If interested, it is available for review on the district website. From all of the research, the one thing that was crystal clear was that the quality of the program had the strongest impact on student learning. That is what this evening is about. We are here to give you information so that you can decide what would constitute the highest quality program that we can offer for our five-year-olds. Just take a minute to look at the minutes of a full-day kindergarten program versus a full-day a half-day kindergarten versus a full-day kindergarten. You can see that students in a full-day program spend over 20,000 minutes more in a classroom with a certified teacher in school every day than half-day students. Now, let's take a minute to hear from Catherine Satokis, kindergarten teacher at Amsterdam Elementary School. Please keep in mind that the day that this was taped, it was crazy hair day. Today's kindergarten is more than just ABCs, colors, and learning how to count. The expectations of kindergartners has grown significantly, and a half-day program for the children is just not enough to prepare them for first grade. Unfortunately, because our kindergarten places such rigorous expectations on the students, we're unable to focus on the foundational skills of socializing and learning through play due to lack of time. We are constricted to focus the two and a half hours strictly on instructing the students on new academic skills. If a full day of kindergarten passes and we have the opportunity to work with the students, I believe we will see huge increases in the overall readiness of the students for first grade. 
Overall, I feel that upgrading to a full-day kindergarten will change the student's outlook in innumerable ways. They will know that they are coming to learn, but they will also be having fun, and it will be a more interactive, memorable environment. Benefits of a full-day kindergarten program. A full-day kindergarten program means more time to inquire and discover authentically. More breadth and depth in the instruction leads to more breadth and depth in the learning. It's also a matter of equity. Students who currently attend private kindergarten programs or who do not attend kindergarten may now be able to enroll in a full-day K program if this referendum passes. Therefore, we will get the opportunity to know these children earlier and develop those critical relationships that build a strong sense of community. The challenges do exist. Many of the struggles faced by our kindergarten teachers who teach a two and a half hour program center around time and perception, scheduling issues, perception that a half day program isn't as important which can then lead to higher absentee rate in these classes. Differentiation and community building can also be affected by a half-day program. More time is needed. More time is needed to get to know our students and their families, to thoroughly assess our students, to remediate any gaps early, to accelerate concepts when it's appropriate, to offer individual inquiry opportunities, to develop the social emotional skills so vital in our students today, to develop fine and gross motor skills, and to master the pre-reading and pre-writing skills. That's personally my favorite, just saying. Good evening. In my 17 years as an educator, I've seen more changes to what we teach students and how we instruct students than I can count. But one theory has always remained the same. Children learn best through play. We use the word play frequently, but what does it mean to learn through play? And more importantly, what would learning through play mean for our kindergarten students? Learning through play would mean increased opportunities for physical activity. This would include daily outdoor recess and more time for physical education, giving our students the opportunity to develop their gross motor skills, such as running and jumping, while also developing social skills. We know that physical activity benefits cognitive functioning. So when you see children at play, they are not just exercising their muscles. They are strengthening the parts of the brain where speech develops, where learning new information occurs, and where memorization of that information occurs. Learning through play means enhanced sensory development. We could break out the sand and water tables again. We could use finger paints and Play-Doh. Sensory play supports language development, cognitive growth, problem-solving skills, social interaction, and motor skills. I've watched tiny hands that struggle with letter formation when using pencil and paper take a sand tray and trace a perfect letter A with a smile on their face. Learning through play means greater exploration of creative expression. Smocks would no longer sit in a crate collecting dust. There would be time for crafts that connect curriculum content with art. Empty copy paper boxes could become rocket ships, reading nooks, or anything their amazing little minds can think of. All of these, combined with academics, would foster a balanced development of physical, cognitive, social, and emotional growth. In a perfect world, a full day of play-based learning would be enough to prepare our students for what lies ahead in first grade and beyond. However, the reality is that curriculum has become more rigorous for students across the board, including curriculum, kindergarten. The content students are introduced to in kindergarten becomes the building blocks for their future learning. A full day program would allow for increased opportunities for early intervention. Our kindergarten students come to us from a multitude of preschools, therefore with many different levels of preparedness. 
some of our students enter kindergarten with no preschool experience at all. Kindergarten is a critical year to identify and remediate gaps in basic skills, such as letter naming, letter formation, number recognition, counting, and many more. We need a full day so that we can offer our students increased opportunities for differentiation and small group or individual instruction. In the two hours and 47 minutes we have with our current kindergarten students, there is minimal time for remediation or enrichment. This leads to mostly whole group instruction with a much larger student to teacher ratio than a small group would allow for. A full day would offer ample time for consistent, focused, small group and individualized instruction across the curriculum. And last but most certainly not least, a full day program would allow us to pace the implementation of our current curriculum with a more developmentally appropriate timeline. Our youngest learners in Hillsborough enter kindergarten at just four years, 11 months old. It is simply not realistic to expect students between four and six years old to just power through their school day. And now we are going to hear from Haley Rizzoli, a kindergarten teacher at Sunnymead Elementary School. As a kindergarten teacher, participating in full day kindergarten will ease the transition to first grade, helping children adapt more to the demands of a six hour school day. Also, a longer school day will offer more flexibility and more time to do activities that we don't normally get to do in a half day program. So now I'm gonna ask you to do something that your kindergarten teacher probably asked you to do many times. Use your imagination. Imagine that tomorrow you arrived at your workplace and your employer told you that you would need to perform all of your current responsibilities, but in half the time. How would you feel? Would you be anxious, stressed? Would you be able to do your job with the same level of success that you do now? No more lunch break, by the way, since you're not there all day. You will get about five minutes, 10 if you're lucky, to gobble down a snack, but then it's right back to work. At some point, you'll probably be wishing for a few minutes to stretch your legs and maybe get outside for some fresh air, but your two hour and 47 minute workday is taking away, so there's simply not enough time for that break. This is what we are asking of our youngest learners. We instruct them using a curriculum designed for a full day program, but offer them half the time to absorb the curriculum. They then move on to first grade where an equally rigorous full day awaits. And now I'm gonna turn it over to my colleague, Kelly Maring, to talk to you more about first grade. Good evening, everyone. As a first grade teacher and someone who has also taught a half day kindergarten program, I feel there are many ways a full day kindergarten will prepare children for first grade and beyond. One way children would benefit is in the area of school readiness skills. A full day would allow students more time to get to know how school works. They will have more opportunities for learning independence, school routines and procedures, following multi-step directions, developing a physical stamina for school, and to practice active listening skills amongst children of their age. This is a benefit because teachers won't have to take as much time in first grade to teach these skills as the students will already be very familiar with them. Another area is in a child's ability to work cooperatively. We believe if students have more opportunities for learning skills such as sharing and taking turns, that when they come to first grade and beyond, there would be less time other teachers would need to focus on teaching these very important life skills. When we have to take the time to teach these skills in first grade or to intervene frequently because children haven't had the exposure or practice with them, it takes away from student learning time in first grade. With more time in kindergarten to focus on teaching students what cooperative learning looks and sounds like, we believe first graders will be more equipped to handle conflicts with peers and work in cooperative groups, which we do frequently in first grade. In addition to a child's social and emotional growth is of course their academic growth. Some of you may have heard the saying, kindergarten is the new first grade, first grade is the new second grade, etc. There is a reason for this. It is because in recent years there has been an increase in the academic rigor and expectation for students across the grades. 
It is our belief that if our kindergartners have more time with consistent daily instruction in their day to bring foundational skills, letter naming, sound recognition, rhyming, beginning reader skills, and number sense skills, just to name a few, to mastery that they will have the tools that teachers in first grade and beyond can build upon. Lastly, we also want to be able to get the, to know the students as learners the best we can. This requires the time to do so. With a half-day program, students may not have the opportunity to get to mastery with their foundational skills. As teachers, we know the importance of early interventions. Kindergarten, first and second grade, te first and second grade are the years that children are learning to read. At third grade, it shifts to reading to learn. It is our belief that if we catch students early who are struggling to master these very crucial foundational skills and have more time to provide early targeted instruction, that as they continue through the grades, that they will not need these interventions. If in kindergarten, students get more opportunities for that consistent daily instruction, we believe it will help them be more prepared for the demands of a very academic first grade. So what are the challenges of a half-day kindergarten program in first grade? With the half-day program that our district currently has, the job of a first grade teacher can be challenging. It can be challenging because when students come to us and are still learning about school readiness and cooperative learning, we often have to take time away from student learning to address these skills. Currently, first grade standards are written based on the ideas that children have completed a full day kindergarten program. It can be very challenging getting students caught up on securing foundational skills from kindergarten while at the same time teaching them new skills that are in the first grade curriculum. Not only is it challenging for teachers, but it's also stressful for the little six and seven year olds that we're teaching. If children have the opportunity to secure their social, emotional, and academic skills with more time in kindergarten, we truly feel our students will be well on their way to being future readers, authors, scientists, and historians. More time to play. More time to grow. More time to learn. More time for fun. More time for anything. <laughs>